Hello guys again. Uh, very quickly I'm going to show you how to create uh, controllers in the application, in the skeleton application, application module. In Zen Framework 2 uh, we'll discuss other interesting topics. Okay, uh, so we go to modules, application, let me show you something in the module. Module config file. We have something very important, I just uh, remember right now something very important. In uh, code NVY, usually when you get the files from uh, from the repository, see how it looks the icon of the of the file. It's not recognized as PHP, so in order to be recognized, rename, and instead of text plan, you choose application PHP, rename, and the file will be recognized as PHP and the proper color colors will be shown here in the file when you open it otherwise everything is is gray okay so in module config in line 23 it says the following is a route to, si uh, to simplify getting started creating the new controllers okay as you can see in the old application uh, in the old Zen framework one we just had to create one controller uh, put it in the in the controller folder and it miraculously uh, works so in, to mimic this Zen Framework 2 has something similar we just have to type application and uh, follow by the controller and action and we'll get it we'll get it working so let me show you that in source application controller we're gonna create pretend that we are a student and we're gonna create for example um, directly a file which is called fmi student student controller fmi student controller Notice uh, the camel case, not all the letters FMI are capital, only the first one, FMI student controller. Yes, we have it already open, so let me copy the content of index and just change the name of the class, FMI student controller. Uh, let's add one action. Public function add action. And let's return array and let's pretend this is ID, let's say one, and we have a title for example, another parameter which we are gonna send to the view, which I'm gonna call um, FMI student. Of course I don't like it this way. We have to format it a little bit better. Okay, so we're sending to the view two parameters, ID and title, and we're gonna display this. Let me create the view for this controller application. I have to create a folder for this controller which is going to be called fmi-student created and inside we are going to create uh, two PHP files which are reflecting the names of the controller uh, actions the first one is index and it's called phtml ph 
HTML and I'm gonna say here h1 h1 I am index PHTML save it and for the second action I'm gonna create at PHTML in the same folder in the folder of the controller which I'm gonna call it at PHTML PHTML and here I'm gonna put content for example h1 I'm in at PHTML so far so good now we have to modify slightly the module config PHP just to make the module uh, aware about the new controller I'm gonna add here in the invocables of course this is application controller this is FMI student and it calls FMI student controller not forget the comma here save actually I will add a comma here as well that's not gonna mm, cause any problems in PHP okay so what we have done is we have created a new controller in um, application module and with two actions index and add we have created the view scripts for this controller let me show you that okay so this is the newly created controller FMI student controller in the same namespace application controller and for each action we have created one view script at I mean at and index after that we have changed the module config we have added in the inv invocable section for our service manager in Zen Framework 2 this line okay so let's see if the newly created controller will manifest its existence so we are gonna say add adding right now We'll push to Zend PHP Cloud to see uh, how the controller looks actually, how everything looks here in the skeleton application. Okay, get commit, added a new controller, commit. this is how simple and easy it is to create controllers and um, if you don't wanna mess up with a database a very simple website built only by controllers and actions which of course is not very practical but it's possible and it's uh, it's fun remote push to our development server and let's see how it looks let's first make sure that we didn't break anything now the way we access it is application fmi dash student index is the action and here we go so let me show you again the URL pay attention to that application fmi sent so when we have a camel case and two words they are separated by dash and index let's try with underscore I think it's gonna work with underscore as well let's check yeah it works let's try with dot no it's not working so we can use dash 
and underscore. And if you look at here, in the um, module configuration of the application, we will understand why. This is the default, which is going to be uh, executed. If I just type application, it's going to be in the executed index controller with index action. Here it is, index index. And here it is, controller action in the roots. Okay, what else? Actually, I want to show you um, in the modules the layout. We use two steps view design pattern. So, this is the current layout for the application in the for folder application view layout layout PHTML and that's described here in the configuration file it says where the layout is let's look at the layout it's very easy to be replaced with something we actually can um, can play with that and show you how it looks layout PHTML so let's create one new PH, PHP file, PHTML file. Um, okay, let's leave it as it is actually. And I'm gonna call it um, student. PHTML. Okay. In this file, the most important thing is just to put this line. Echo this content. This actually is the most important because this is how we get the content which comes from the different controllers and their view scripts. Hello world. And here I will put this line, which as I said is the extremely important line. Okay. Now let's change the layout and instead of layout.phtml let's force our Zend uh, Framework 2 application to render everything but using this layout our li layout, the new one which I just created. It's a very simple one but it's um, enough just to show the, the concept. So now go again to module config And now we'll say we'll check that. Let me comment this layout layout student. We'll see if that works. If not, we'll change something. student okay so again at git at git commit I have changed the layout this is what I'm gonna put there um, I'm not gonna dig deeper into the layout and all the helpers which we can use there view helpers which are used there everybody can go and read more about that git commit I'll put I have changed the layout. I have changed the layout. Commit. And I'm going to push right now to our Zend repository. It's very simple. I just will give you the idea when uh, I'm done with that to change the layout. Push. And I'm going to push to Zend. Let's see if the layout has been changed. Yes, it has changed. As you can see, hello world. Of course, it's not uh, as nice as the original one, but it works. So we just redressed our application. It looks different now. 
this is what I wanted to show and add I mean add PHTML another thing which I wanted to show you is how to use the parameters sent by the controller so we have F F uh, FMI student and let's look at the add PHTML in order to use the title which we have there I again will say h1 h1 but this time php echo this title is that simple save it let me show you here it is into the controller I'm sending this parameter to the view called title and I'm using it into the view corresponding to the add action which is add PHTML here it is here I'm calling the same parameter by its name which we have given to this parameter in the controller let's see if that works again git add git commit git push to zend and we'll see how the title will show up when we call fmi-student application when we go to the URL very well known URL which is this one at and here we expect to see a, a third row okay um, successfully added to index so git commit I'm sending a parameter to the view to the view script commit and now we'll see how it looks just in a few seconds remote push push to Zend. Okay, let's take a look now. Here we go. FMI student. It doesn't exist in the in the view script, but we have it from the controller. So in this lesson, just to summarize, I showed you how to create a controller into one existing module, application module in this case. I showed you um, how to change the layout and third I showed you how to send parameters to the view getting parameters from the from the input is uh, again very easy as well we can see this in module album for example config module config here in the root look we just have added one parameter here in the root and we can send it everything what is sent there will be accepted and will come into the application into the controller under the name ID so this is what I wanted to discuss today because I'm gonna ask all my students to create one controller in application module uh, with the corresponding views and show them how they can build um, static website using Zen Framework 2 because this is the way each page actually is an action this is how can can be built a website very easy without even using the, the database but we always can add it and make the things a little bit more easier for us and more productive so those are different pages can be accepted as different pages of one website and the URL is FMI application we can change of course in the module the root FMI student at if I put index we'll see a different I mean index PHTML we'll see a different page which is accepted from the from the viewer as a page, as a static page. And uh, 
In fact, the very primitive CMS content management system is nothing else but one CRUD, create, retrieve, update, delete. On the client side, we just retrieve pages and we know how to uh, which page to retrieve by the parameter we sent at the end of the URL. Uh, thank you for your attention and see you soon.